Hello and welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews. Today we are here with the problem number of ways where square of number is equal to product of two numbers. Given two arrays of integer nums1 and nums2, return the number of triplets formed of type 1 or type 2 under the following rules. So the type 1 it is a triplet i comma j comma k such that nums1 of i multiplied by nums1 of i that is the square of nums1 of i equal to nums2 of j multiplied by nums2 of k so we are picking one element from nums1 taking the square of it and then we are picking two elements from nums2 such that their product is equal to the square of the element which is picked in nums1 and of course the type 2 is or uh, is just the opposite we are picking one element from nums2 and then picking two elements from nums1 so we have to return the count of such triplets so once you are clear with the problem statement we can try approaching this problem so the very first thing that I would be noticing here is the constraints so the constraints given are 1000 so we can solve this problem in at max big of n square we cannot go beyond that so one of the very first solution and the most brute force solution would be to do a search uh, so we will be picking two elements from nums1 and then taking the product of those elements and then we will be searching if that thing is present inside nums2 so it would be a n cube solution so let me show that as well what we will be doing is we will be traversing the first array we will be having two pointers i comma j and we will go at each of these pairs let us say we go for the very first pair which is 7 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 49 and then we will be searching on the nums2 so we will search that if we pick that uh, if we pick one element from nums2 and take the square of it is it equal to 49 so we will be able to find one element which is 7 if it is taken and 7 when squared is equal to 49 hence we will be able to find answer for this pair the next pair would be 7 multiplied by 8 and then we will be searching the what is 7 into 8 7 is uh, 56 yeah so we will be searching this in the nums2 again or whether the square of a certain number is equal to this so so again we will be taking the third pair which is 7 multiplied by 3 like this we are taking pairwise from nums1 and then searching on nums2 so this selection of pairwise is going to take n square time and then searching would uh, again take big of n time so in total it would be a n cube solution and the constraints are so high that this solution is going to give us time limit exceeded now we want to optimize this so where can the optimization be applied we can apply the optimization in in the searching part so instead of searching in big of n that is doing a linear search we can what we can do is we can store them inside a hash map so a search in the hash map is going to take big of one time so once we are done storing all the square of all these elements into a hash map so let us say this is my hash map in which I have I have 1 I have 4 I have 81 and 49 so these are the squares of these elements respectively so if I have this in a hash map and I simply search 49 so I will be able to search 49 and this searching would be in big of 1 so my solution would be big of n square finally so according to the constraints the solution is going to be passed so we can do the same thing when we are uh, when we are doing this 
when we are picking element pairwise from nums2 and we are searching on nums1 we can again store the square of all these elements into a hash map and do the same processing so let us try to understand this with the code I am taking hash maps M1 and M2 for A belongs to nums1 ok so I, why am I not taking sets and why am I taking map here because I am also bothered about the number of count uh, because if we see in this example so if, are, if I am storing for the nums1 I will be having this I will be storing the square of 1 which is 1 so 1 will be stored twice and I have to take both of them into consideration separately so that is why I am storing them inside a map and I will be incrementing the count each time so a multiplied by a plus plus same thing with the nums2 now once I'm done storing I'm going to run a for loop J will be starting from I plus 1 J is smaller than nums1 dot size J plus plus so actually this is for the type 2 I'm going to add answer plus equal to M2 because I'm taking from nums1 i comma j actually these are not i comma j these are j comma k if we look at the terminologies which is given in the question so it is basically j and k from nums1 so answer plus equal to nums uh, map of 2 nums1 of i multiplied by nums nums1 of j so this should be added to the answer I'm going to repeat the same for nums2 and instead of m1 I'm going to take m nums2 nums2 ok finally return the answer and initializing answer with 0 let us try to run on the given test cases alright this some compilation error one two one nine two zero one nine two zero so it is giving us correct answer for the given test cases let us try to submit this we got a runtime error it is because the product of these two numbers it is it is passing the integer limits so when I'm storing the square it is passing the integer limit let us convert this int to long
also when I am storing this I should make it as long here also now let us try to run this one yes now we don't have any error so it got accepted so we improved the solution from big of n cube to big of n square just by using a map an unordered map in which the search is in a constant time so the space complexity of the solution is going to be big O of n because big O of n plus m because we are storing all these the square of all these elements into maps the the time complexity here is n square plus m square so n square for this one if we take the size of nums1 as n and m square for this one if we take the size of nums2 as m so this is it for the solution. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.